Why does the amazing corpse plant smell so disgusting? Think rotting flesh or decaying fish? The stench is all part of its strategy. I'm Rose Rossell, and I'm a PhD candidate at Colorado State University. Corpse plants or titanium arums bloom only once every seven to 10 years. The flowers are massive, over 10 feet tall. But the real surprise is the odor. That smell lures in beetles and flies, the very insects the plant relies on for pollination. In 2024, our team studied one of these rare blooms from a plant named Cosmo. We collected air samples before, during, and after the bloom, and then analyzed them. We found that the female flowers do most of the work. On first night, they release sulfur compounds, like methane thiol, which is in the same family of chemicals that makes skunk spray stink. It was the single most abundant chemical during Cosmo's bloom. We also smelled garlic, rotting cabbage, and onions. On the second night, the male flowers bloom and take over. Their emissions are weaker, sweeter, and produce less stench. That's because the insects are already trapped inside, ready to carry pollen away. Our measurements show that in just two nights, Cosmo released so many chemicals that it lost about a 25th of its mass. At its peak, the stench was stronger than emissions from a landfill. By learning in pollinators, trapping them, and then releasing them dusted with pollen, these endangered plants show just how much work goes into ensuring their survival. The corpse flower's smell may make you gag, but it's also one of nature's most extraordinary survival strategies. Follow us and visit theconversation.com for trustworthy and informative news.